Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Crusader Kings 3. As we continue our run here with Ireland as High King Urkad McBrien. And we are dealing with a stressful situation right now. Uh, we've got wanton desires coursing through our brain, I guess, whatever. Uh, and so we have a couple choices here, and I've been looking at these before I started the episode. Uh, we can sequester ourselves, which does mean we lose our our friendship with our brother, who we actually have a hundred rating with right now, which is kind of cool. And we become a reclusive, which drops our diplomacy and stewardship. Now, stewardship is our go-to, right? Like that, that's our primary thing right now. So I don't know that I like that one. Uh, we could switch to a new religion, Nestorianism, um, which we are currently hostile towards. They're hostile towards us. The head of faith is Patriarch Muhammad. Um... I don't know that I want to switch religions. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bite my lip and try to stay focused. It does increase our stress a little bit, but there are other ways that I can reduce my stress. And so we're going to see if this works and trying to do one of those other things to reduce our stress back down again. So we'll do this. Uh, we're still paused while we're still paused and we've got a little bit of stress. Uh, we're going to go over here to, I think, decisions and see if we can. Is the feast that lowers stress? Yeah. So I could do a feast. I could also call a hunt, which has a pretty good chance of reducing stress, I believe. Yeah, primary objective is to reduce stress and gain prestige. I think we're going to go on a, uh, a hunt instead. I could also do a pilgrimage. I could also... I think there's a way to visit... Uh, am I blind? <laughs> that, that doesn't sound good. Uh, I thought there was a way to visit the holy place. Maybe that's... Maybe there's some other way to do that. Um, so I think we're going to go ahead and try to go on a hunt. And we'll lose some stress. Have a lack of servants, which will make it a little bit harder. Uh, it's going to cost us gold. How much does this cost us, actually? Let's do the look at the feast for a second. It's a little bit more, and I do lose less stress. But I could also increase vassal. You know what? This actually might actually be more beneficial to us. Getting, I mean, it's very expensive. But getting vassal opinion of us, I think, would be pretty useful right now if we go look at our council. There's definitely some room to grow, especially with our spy master um, and other things. So let's try that one. It's more expensive, like I said, but I think there are potentially some other benefits. And it's possible there's going to be some decisions that allow us to uh, drop stress even more within the feast itself. Because usually things like that do provide us with um, other benefits. Uh, contrived conflict. Okay, while sitting on my throne, mulling in this and that, a furor erupts. My personal champion, Tog, roars, I know exactly what you meant, you scullion. How dare you disrespect our high king, right in the face of a bewildered Earl Olaf. My chancellor quickly wades in to separate them, but the atmosphere has already been irreparably tarnished. Such stirring is beneath this court, I will not be ca cowed by your games. Earl Olaf retorts resolutely, I heard you with my own ears. I demand satisfaction for the slight against my lord. Earl widens his stance replies very well. I will gladly put, okay, whatever. Put him in his place. So I'll I'll look to me for my say on the matter as Rodri keeps the two apart. Okay. They're having just a weird argument here. Um Well, I definitely don't want anything that will increase my stress. Yeah. Mr. Singh, Olaf is a loyal vassal. I do agree with this. Because he did pledge loyalty to me. And this will give us a little bit of opinion with him. You know what? I actually feel like that's probably the best option here. Yeah. Let's go with that. Just a little bit of opinion with Olaf. We're back to zero with him. We're not, not in a good place with him. We do not like the fact that our spy master is um, as such. Okay. Let's see what this feast has to hold. Guests are gathered in the great hall. Lords and ladies from the tr from near and far reaches of the realm. The mood is bright. Spirits are high as the feast begins. Welcome, friends. My lord, the wine. We cracked open the next barrel. It has gone bad. It has all gone bad. That's not good. Uh, the feast is still raging, but without drink, the mood is sure to dwindle at a cruel pace. Oh my goodness. I'm just going to be more stressed now. This is even worse. Ah!
Hmm. It's such a joy to see my brother and friend Mercad once again. We eat, drink, sing together. As if no time has passed since we've departed last. We could have been dining in a barn, and this would still have been one of the greatest feasts I've ever been to. Yay, we lost some stress again. Reinvigorating friendship. Nice. With all my guests having done fighting for the last of my mere table scraps, it gives me great relief to watch them finally leave with loose clothing and growling bellies. Uh, I have my wife to thank for much of its success, and I feel nothing but gratitude as she sees the last guest off. And some prestige, which is nice. Every guest gains opinion of me. And I did lose a little bit of stress, but not enough. Really not enough. I may have to do the hunt again here in a little bit as well. Oh, new, new uh, stewardship perk. Uh, where is that at? Why am I suddenly forgetting where the stewardship perks are? Oh, there it is. Um, professional workforce. Yeah, I think we're going to go down that route. Speaking of capital, somebody did recommend that I move the capital to Dublin for some reason. Um, which we could do. I think, right? We can surely we can move our capital. Maybe we have to be you know charge. I mean I sure there's a way to move the capital at some point. Maybe if I go look at the capital. Hmm. I mean, there's got to be a way. I'll right click to see if that anything it does not. Hmm. I mean, I know there's ways to move capitals in other in some of the other games. Oh, here we go. Wait a minute. Realm. Right. Oh, that's just the realm capital of that county, I'm guessing. I'm guessing it's because it's not ours. I'm, I'm assuming that if this was ours, so maybe when our son takes over, because he's in charge of this, maybe we can move the capital at that point. I guess one way we could go look at it is find another one that we currently are in charge of, which would be, what's that? Who are we in charge of? Aren't we in charge of something else? Are we not? I guess we've got bigger things than just the, uh, the smaller stuff here. So, ah, here we go. This is us. Yeah, I don't see it. Never mind. I assume there's a way to move our capital, but I am just blind as a bat, apparently. All right. Well, I'm not going to over overthink it, I guess, but it's a little interesting. I figured there would have to be some way. And maybe there is, and I'm just not seeing it, which is, which is fair. There's a way to like visit something and get some reduced stress that way, but I'm not seeing it. I may, like I said, I may have to do the haunt here in a bit. I hope that that will get us where we need to be. Well, when Frida comes of age, this is my daughter. Nice. Come on, stress, go away. Oh, pneumonia, my poor wife. Uh, be cautious to do no more than what is necessary. Uh, drastic measures. You know what? Well, I'll let her choose. Oh, all that stress we're going to gain now. That's all right. So sad. Uh, how old are we? We're pretty young still, aren't we? 43. I mean, that's relatively young. So we definitely need to find us another spouse. Um, is it two? I mean, surely we'll have more children. So probably good to find us someone that has 
some traits, if at all possible. Comely. Robust. Honestly, at this point, somebody who's good at stewardship. You know, I might go with her. She's good at stewardship. And yeah, we'll go with this. And Frida, this is my daughter. Does she have any special traits? She's intelligent. So we'd definitely like to keep that on our side of the things. So we're going to go matrilineal. We're also going to go by unheritable traits. That's already selected. Good. Uh, genius? Uh, yes, please. Let's go with the genius. I mean, 51 years old, though. <laughs> so, uh, maybe not. Maybe we go with the intelligent down here. 27-year-old. That just feels less cruel. Okay, we'll go with that. So get her married. Prince Brian, this is my son. Yeah, sure. We'll be allies. That's fine. Do I really have too many held duchies? Ew, I didn't realize. I thought I got rid of one of these. Uh, let's see. Meath, Munster, and Leinster. Uh, what, what are the duchies? So Munster, Leinster, and Meath. Okay, so Meath, I should probably just give to my son. Uh, let's go back, sorry. Grant to this is uh, Brian the second. I can't give it to him, huh? Why? Give it to my cousin. I mean, I can give it to my spy master, but I'm worried that makes him too strong. But you know what? Let's just try. See if that makes him happy. Gain 60 opinion of us for 50 years. Okay, that, that's pretty good. Alright, so that should also re increase overall opinion of us. Just because of the fact that we don't have an overage there. So, no, we're, we're in a much better place now. Okay, that feels really good. Just gotta deal with the stress. Which, we can do that through, I guess, the hunt. We're gonna go ahead and do the hunt, I guess. Unless there was something else that I could do. I want a pilgrimage. It doesn't give us any sort of a... Stress reduction. I mean, it's possible it gives us some along the way. But I'm not seeing anything specifically. Alright, we're going to go on a hunt. It's fine. Married. Another marriage proposal. Calls us an ally. There's our hunt. As we ride deep into the earldom of Thalmond, Thalmond, the ground grows wetter and the air grows heavier. Suddenly from out of the greenery surrounding us, a giant of a man appears, hulking in layer upon layer of dirty clothing. Explain yourself, he shouts. What are you doing in my marshland? Uh, you're a marshman, is it? Then show us around. Yeah, okay. I'm okay with that. Uh, the hunt is drawing to an end. We mount our horses to leave the wetlands behind as the light fades from the sky. Everything that could go wrong seemed to do so, but there were silver lines to be found. So I barely reduced any stress at all. We just spent a lot of gold on a whole lot of nothing. I did lock, lock another perk, though. I mean, truth be told, I think Dublin is a better overall. Why is Dublin highlighted? What did I do? Uh, it's a better overall uh, place, I think, right? Like, if we go look at... Uh, is there a development? We're at 10 versus... I mean, I guess we're 10 over here as well. We're actually 11 down here. Hmm. 
Why is this? Are they fighting? I don't know. I guess they are. Why are y'all fighting? Brian comes of age. Trickster. Prince Brian can marry. What does he got? Any good traits? He's actually intelligent. So if we can get us another, like a genius or something like that, that'd be really cool. I'm not seeing any geniuses. Uh, there's a quick. Not great. There's an intelligent. She's only two years old. Uh, yeah, I'd be waiting a while, my friend. There's an intelligent there. Zero years old. I mean, we can go with, like, somebody... There's a genius right there. 13. Uh, he wouldn't have to wait long for her. That would actually not be too bad. Yeah. Because he's only, what, 18? No, 16. So he's only 16. Yeah, that's only three years apart. Yeah, that's totally worthwhile. Get us somebody who's extremely smart. That would be awesome. Um, betrothal. Yes. Guild of Stonemasons has established itself uh, in the Earldom of Ennis. Having dedicated craftsmanship or craftsmen in my personal service could help the region flourish. So, 40% chance I gain some prestige and get cooperative stonemasons. Not bad. 45% uh, chance I only get a fair deal. It does cost me money, but I still get cooperative stonemasons. So all, all of them gives us cooperative stonemasons. Just some of them give us, cost us more than others. I mean, they're all basically the same, right? Let's go with this one. Masonic dealings. After a lengthy audience, the chief mason will budge no further. For a lower price than this, it cannot be done. Okay, so I got—I guess that's the medium one, right? The middle one, which is fine. Troubadour dedication. There are often performers at court, but this time we were promised something special and certainly got it. As the Troubadour starts yet another stanza, I try not to show how flattered I am by this dedication directed at me in front of the entire court. I'm still stressed. Uh, gain some prestige, though. Uh, can we... Um, can we increase this by any chance? 270. Nah, I definitely want to keep pushing this up a bit. Uh, apparently, we need to keep building. So I guess we need this first before we can do that. All right. We're, I mean, it's got to save up a lot for that, but I think we will start working towards that. Neighboring really lost war. Sway the good duke. Okay, this is all up, which we don't need to be swaying anymore. We can stop, change that. Um, I'll just take the prestige for now. In fact, I am actually going to go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and do the, uh, let's go ahead and change our sway. Anybody else that we'd rather sway just based off of overall opinion? I mean, our spouse wouldn't be bad. Oria bursts into my chamber, her face red with anger, yelling loud enough for the entire castle to hear her. That's my wife and queen. She's in, somebody's in search of your honor. I demand that you cast that false buffoon from our court. Mm. I mean, it's a 50-50. Even after discussing the details of the incident with Aurea, I am still unsure what to think of the whole affair. A good High King should stand by his High Queen, yet I cannot shake the feeling that Aurea might not be telling me the entire story. This is one of my knights, too. <sighs> Extremely good marshal on the knight. 
All right, I guess we're just gonna have an angry wife. Normally, I would not do that. You should support your spouse. <laughs> but in this case, from a game standpoint, it felt like the better of the two. Um, new acquisitions. So I have a chance to gain a very good book artifact or an even higher chance to gain an uninteresting old book artifact. Oof. Uh, I get a weak hook or I can get some money. Hmm... I mean, I like the money, but money comes and goes, right? I feel like the chance at an artifact would be kind of cool. Ah, boo. Uh, I mean, it's not the worst, though, actually. Sorry. Why, is not the, why am I not getting the pause message? Oh, because it's in the way? Yeah, okay. I was like, I kept trying to pause it. And the weird thing is that when you pause it, the soldiers still knew their movement. So I thought it wasn't paused. So I was just kind of pausing, unpausing, pausing, unpausing. I'm like, why is this not working? Um... Let's go ahead. We are definitely going to equip this book. This book is worth keeping. The Gilded Rat's Tale can go away, in my opinion. There might, I mean, was there like a way to sell it or something? I don't know. But, because we don't really care about that that much. But the extra storage, I mean, it's not great, but it's definitely better than nothing. How do we equip you? Click to unequip this. Equip. Oh, sorry. I wasn't seeing it pop up over here. I was like, where is it going? My, I was blind, obviously, guys. Sorry about that. Okay, cool. That works. I like those two. Hopefully we get more of those as time goes by. I do believe our position just died. Uh, our stress really needs to go away. Sensual proposal. Wherever I go, Mar Marie, Marie, a noble woman from Baku is sure to follow up. The look in her eyes, the words on her lips, I know exactly what she is after. She is pretty, apparently. And she's a poet. And a drunkard. Um, how sweet, but no. Uh, nah, I'm not going to, like, out her. Oh, I don't want to be seduced by anybody, actually. So, yeah, I'm okay with that. Court position. The world is full of dangers, even to a high king in his court. As for my request, my servants inquired after recommendations. Now they have assembled a few options to choose from. All right, so these are all going to cost me some money. Some more expensive than others. Seonid is... Uh, we're looking at learning, right? So 15 on the learning. Martha. Only 11 on the learning. Goodness, she's got the Midas touch, though. Wow. And then... Definitely don't want the stress. Guess we'll take Cyanid. Gonna cost a little bit more, but she is better. Got a new son. Anything special about him? Unfortunately, no. All right, we'll just name him after whatever. He's pretty far down the line anyway. Most likely will not be playing as him. Killed a rat's tail was destroyed. That is fine by me. Uh, if it is a pawn of carps you're interested in, I can build you a terrific one, my lord. The builder before me has good credentials, and my courtiers seem very excited about the prospect. Get some opinion. Every courtier gets an opinion of me. I'll lose some gold. Uh, every court she gains more opinion of me as again. Uh, I guess this is where I'm stewardship challenge. I'm trying to bargain, which could be worthwhile, actually. 38% chance of getting a good deal. I kind of like that. Stop wasting my time. Would lower my stress. But, no, let's go for that. What? 11% chance? And we... <laughs> what? <laughs> I thought this this is not XCOM. What's going on? <laughs> when did we switch over to XCOM? Uh, all right. Hmm. 
like a way to like visit this? I don't see it. I, I thought there's somebody was said in a comment that there's a way to visit or, or go do something to lower our stress through faith. And I'm not. I'm obviously just blind or misunderstanding or something. It's all right. When do we get another decision to lower our stress? Not for till March of two more years. Uh, this one's in June, so this is actually coming up very soon. Yep. We will try that. Hopefully here in June. Oop, new perk. Oh, I got a lot of stuff up here I should be paying attention to. The Troth can marry. Yes, please. Give me some super smart babies. Do you have an encampment? Oh, my... Sp I, I didn't even notice he died. Oof, we have like nobody. I really don't want to give you anything. <sighs> You're just not that good, quite frankly. But I guess at this point, we've got to make some people happy. I'm just going to be support schemes for right now. Manage Royal Guards. Try that for a little bit. Let's get our guards to be a bit better. Uh, we're in June. Um, June 12th. There we go. Mental... <sighs> Right as I get a mental break, of course. I don't want to be reclusive. I don't want to reconvert. Uh, so no. I guess I'm going to get more stress because that's all I can do. But we're going to host a feast. Spending all my money trying to get rid of the stupid stress. <laughs> Welcome, friends. What a great night. We'll say that's my daughter, isn't it? I don't feel like my stress is going down. I don't think my stress hardly budged at all. That's just great. Hey, my queen was swayed. Another more opinion boost. I was trying to save up money for a keep, but that's never going to happen. New fascination can be selected. Where do I select fascinations? That over here. Coinage. Development growth plus 10%. Oh, it's what's down here. Oh. I think I do I not I don't remember clicking on this before. I'm assuming the fascination is something that like we're focusing on from like a technology standpoint. We got movement speed. We've got uh, armored horsemen, battlements. I mean, I'd probably go to more civic, just given the state, kind of where we're at right now. Honestly, the one we've got right now is fine. I don't think there's any reason to change or nothing. Available perks. Dear stress, please go away. Architectural expertise. Nice. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to have you doing your thing. Or is it does it automatically give her the same thing already? Okay, it does. Good. That is fine. Uh, along with the strange goods, merchants bring tall tales from distant lands. Unverifiable, full of wonder. A group of Gaelic peddlers report to have brought Kyrgyz objects that have come from a faraway court of a great ruler. Khan Kopti of Kakassia. Okay. Glasiuk, the leading trader, grins darkly. Darkly. Hmm. 
This unique axe could be yours for a special price, of course. Great high king. A likely yarn indeed, if only had some way to verify the hawker's story. I get some prowess and advantage in hills. I mean, it's not amazing, but... It's not worth a gold. Not for that. Uh, this is my spymaster and vassal. She wants to show her loyalty. Sounds good to me. Yeah, appreciate it. Empty accusations. My spam master had that had the prior brought forth. Wait, am I reading that right? My spy master had the prior brought forth for the revelation and judgment of a grand conspiracy. However, when the prior refused to confess, such as Ain had absolutely no evidence or support for it. I'm confused. Um. Who's the prior? <laughs> what am I, am I not? Un, do I not understand English? Oh, okay, I definitely can't have stress. So apparently, I've got to spend some piety. Like I don't. I guess I don't speak English because I don't know what that was saying. Lively livestock, as opposed to the deadly dead stock. Oh, I just realized the time. Okay, we're gonna put a cut in there. When we come back, we will figure out what's going on with our lively livestock. But I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.